everybody and welcome back to Tomb Raider Remastered. Now we've entered the third strand of levels which is Egypt to look for the last piece of the Skion. And this is the first level, City of Carmoon. First things first, jump off the ledge backwards. You'll notice that there's a ledge above, below you. And what you can do is let, actually let go of that ledge and then drop onto the next one below. Right. In this room, we actually need to move both of these blocks in order to get onto that pillar all the way up there. So, you'll notice in the corner that there's a lever. I forgot to mention that the, the game has actually had an update. And if you notice, the exclamation icon I was talking about in the previous video has now been changed to a glove symbol. Not that I think they really needed to do that, but I mean the prompt was already quite clear enough, but it is what it is. Anyway, so that's opened a door below where we need to move the first block. So how this will work is we need to move this block in order to move the other block over the top of it. move this block out further, further far enough there's actually some items around the back of it not a secret but some hidden items which are always are always worth it so magnum clips and a small medipack we will be using the magnums a lot more in these levels because the enemies are a lot tougher to take out as you will find out. The enemies in this strand of levels make the lions look like absolute pushovers. Right, so now that we've moved that block we can pull this block across. This level's not very long. Um, it's actually quite a short level actually if you uh, if you know what order to do things in of course but now we can jump up onto this pillar up here grab the ledge and pull ourselves up here Panther will ambush us here, I forgot to mention. You can use the magnums or the shotgun, but the ma shotgun will take three shots. This is why I prefer to use the magnums, just because we've got a bit more mobility. Because while you're strafing around the panthers and the fast enemies in this level, you can still keep one gun trained on them while you're strafing around them. So I personally prefer to use the magnums. Where is he? <gasps> And there's some more ammo up here. In Unfinished Business, the DLC, we will actually revisit this location after the main game is finished. And the, the Sphinx, the Sphinx over there, actually is winking at Lara. Right, you can probably hear, but there's also a new enemy down there. The mummy. deadly in close quarters. Same rule applies, keep them away from you at all costs. Come into this pool over here. Just some items in here that will come in useful. Which is some ammo. As you can see the game has given us quite a few quite a few magnum clips. Obviously drilling home the message that we do need to use the magnums a bit more. Right, before we move that block, we need to come up here. 
and we need to go behind the Sphinx head. Because there is an item that we will need. To get past this corner, drop off and grab the ledge, shimmy your way across, pull yourself up here. And then our, the item that we need is right here, which is the sapphire key. Great. Now. Oh, that was a bit reckless of me. I was going to say, make sure you come down safely. <laughs> it's a shame I never said my advice out loud, out loud is it? But hey-ho. Move this block back. Because this is where we need to go next. And then let's pop the key in here. Panther here. Right, there is a panther in this room. I strongly advise you get up onto these blocks here. Just jump up across, and then this panther will, will appear. Same. Remember, if you if you if you're in a higher position and the enemy can't get to you, just to save ammo, it's worth using the pistols. Yes, it takes longer for them to die, but you're not going to waste any ammo. taken care of. And, uh, as I, f I recall, I think there's a few items up here that we'll need. Small medipack. Jump your way across these platforms. Now, I highly recommend you get a shotgun out here because we are about to be ambushed by a second panther. And these things are even more dangerous than the lions. They'll do, do even more damage, of course, and they'll take more shots to kill. Yeah, he's taken a bite out of this, but you can see how much damage that did. Small medipack. As you're about to find out, the enemies in this level are a lot tougher than the enemies we've encountered before, so... The game's been quite generous in giving the shotgun shells and magnet clips, and you'll see why it's all for these strands of levels here. We'll run down here, and there's a large medipack at the end of this corridor. It doesn't serve any other purpose. Just the medipack there. So, where we're supposed to go, eventually we'll be going over to where that cat statue is over there, but first we want to go into this pool here, but before we do that, the first secret, and the second secret, as a matter of fact, is in this room. The first secret we can get straight away. If you come over to this corner, there's a series of slopes over here. Jump here. Okay, don't jump there. Jump there. <laughs> And then there's a little dip there where we can, where it's a bit flatter, and then we need to jump there. And then we jump once again over to there. Large medipack and some magnum clips are your reward. So, where that statue is there, that's actually the entrance to the DLC when we come back later in unfinished business you actually would run through that statue and then you've got a whole new area to explore but we'll go through that in a few parts time bit of foreshadowing anyway this is where we need to go into this pool here the DLC the expansion of this game I haven't played the others just yet but the expansion is great 
It's four levels that are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The DLC to this game was actually made after Tomb Raider 2. It was actually released after Tomb Raider 2 came out. Right, there is a crocodile in this water so we need to get out quick. We don't need to go back into this water again so I'm not going to bother with you. It's not good if Lara always kills every single animal she sees. Move this block, and then as you've probably seen, we need to. There is a ledge up here on the left hand side. I think we can reach it from this angle. I don't think we need to pull the block any further. Yeah. Run up here. Climb up the sledge, turn around, and there should be a lever up here. And that's opened a series of platforms that we need to use to get out of the room with the bits, but we need to now move the block further along this ledge up here. As you can see, the, those platforms are now open, but where we need to go is where that block is over there. So I'm being a bit careless with my boots at the moment. Should have jumped back onto that block, but never mind. Yeah, as I was saying, the, the DLC was actually made after Tomb Raider 2 was released. Four levels long, but each level is quite long, um, and there are ten secrets to collect. And compared to the 45 of the original game, well, the main game anyway. And then the other two, there are two other expansions for Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3 as well, which I will be going through. Run up to the ledge, do a running jump. Right, there is a mummy in this room, and you will see firsthand just how lethal they can be. Shotgun, I don't really recommend for this bit because the enemy mummies are incredibly fast and they're difficult just to get an accurate shot on. Magnums, I think, are a bit better for this, um, but you'll see just how fast and lethal they are up close in a minute. It makes the panthers look, yeah, trivial in comparison. So we need to push this block out of the way. And then time for a fight. As you can see, it's already eaten into our life. job we saved up all these benefits, huh? but as you can see they're lethal up close right now that's taken care of push this block all the way to the end we probably could have used the shotgun there but speaking from experience you need to be facing you need to be fully facing your enemy in order to get a good accurate shot with the shotgun and with those things flying around bananas sometimes it's not quite easy to do that's why I prefer to use the magnums but the uses would have come in really handy there if we have them but we're not going to pick them up just yet however they will be in the strand of levels a bit later on and they're in a really well hidden spot pull this lever Right, just be careful with this bit here. You don't want to fall down there. As you can see, you will not survive that drop. So just be respectful of these jumps over here. Remember to hold the wall button. Just because you cannot fall off the ledge. Tap back to get your run up. 
and then we'll clear that jump no problem magnum clips here and then secret number two is not far away now which we can now able to get now that we've changed a few things around in this room slide down the slope here carefully Sweet. pick up the medipack there are a few other things that they patched in the game as well I think there was a crash actually a crash that was uh, fixed on uh, Lara's home and a few other crashes in Tomb Raider 2 as well but you can have a look on if you have a look on um, the discord it will tell you it will tell you exactly what the patch was I didn't even realise they updated the game until I actually turned the game on and I had to, I had to uh, look at the patch notes on discord but but I have no idea why they changed the the, uh, the prompt anyway. I didn't think it was necessary. Anyway, secret number two is over here. We'll pick up these magnum clips first. Right, to get to it, go up this raised platform here. Walk all the way to the edge. And then you can see our prize on that ledge over there. some oozy clips right I forgot to mention this bit earlier there is actually a boulder trap here I forgot to mention it earlier but you can trigger it now safely what you need to do is just reverse off the edge and grab it and then the roll boulder will roll safely past now we need to go down here now that we've opened we've opened this hatch down here now there's two ways you can go down here once again I'm not being careful with my jumps then I just took some unnecessary damage there's two ways you can go down here there is nothing that leads down there it is just quite a devious trap what will happen is if you jump off that square ridge it will turn into a slope and then down that slope is some spikes you can get out of it but it'll just the exit is just over this side here it's a bit of a, a gotcha moment really yeah. if uh, it will definitely catch you out the first time if you fall down there speaking from experience but the way we need to go is over here now this is probably the trickiest part of the whole level this isn't a very long level but this is probably the most dangerous part is in this room In this dark room here there are quite a few panthers and when I say quite a few panthers there's quite a lot. <laughs> Pull this lever here. I don't actually know what that hatch does. Um, I think it's just if you for some reason you get back up to the top it's just a shortcut on how to get down here again but what we need to do first and foremost is to take care of these panthers, use the pistols just because they can't reach you from here. take a bit of time but it's, it saves ammo but you can see how tanky the enemies are getting now I mean we put about 20 shots into these panels and they're still not dead right now this is a bit of a, a deception here you would probably think that you need to run and jump to that ledge over there however that run and jump is impossible to reach what you need to do is actually come down into this room here but as soon as you come down into this room two panthers will come out of a door on your right and ambush you so make sure you get the right gun out for the for the job so because we've got two enemies to contend with probably the magnums There is actually a block over there in that corner if you can see. If you're fast, you can actually run and get onto that block before the enemies can get to you. But that's a big if. The panthers are quick 
and every time I've tried to run to that block they've always caught me and then I have to fight them head on but here we go Yep, that didn't work. Okay. I didn't need to put my pistol away. Had to do that the more entertaining way. But go where those panthers are come from, and you'll find yourself a large medipack. Now that door over there, it will open, but in order to open it is actually where the third and final secret of the level is. Climb up to this platform the pit, and then you can see this bridge on the left. Now you're probably thinking, why is this bridge here when we're not unable to reach that platform from over there? And as you can hear, that's released the panthers. You can deal with them now before we grab the secret, or you can grab the secret and then deal with them. Let's go over here and grab the secret first. We need to do a running jump here, then grab the ledge. And then that's all three secrets in this level collected. One more in this room somewhere. Oh, there it's right below us. There we go. No wonder some of these animals are endangered after Lara's been raiding tombs, right? <laughs> In total, local panther populations completely decreased now. Right, we're not out of the woods yet. We have one more enemy to contend with, and it's this mummy we were talking about earlier. Get out the shotgun. I'll try the shotgun for this bit and see if we got a bit more success than what we had last time with the magnums. Try and get out into this room here just because you've got more space to contend with it. But you can see just how fast and vicious they are. Once you've destroyed these mummies, they don't well in the later levels with in the later levels they actually mutate and they're actually um they actually blow up and they'll do splash damage. So try not to let them get close to you. I think there's something we're missing here. Do we need to pull a lever? Ooh, there's another item over there that we've missed in the corner. Can we reach that ledge from here? Yes, we can. And some magnum clips. We're going to need them. And I don't think we checked the other door, did we? I don't think we ran in the other door, did we? Oh yes, another item in here. It's more medipack. <coughs> Not being thorough enough. Right, I think there's something we're missing here. Well, there's something I'm missing in this room. Yeah, there's something I'm missing. Oh no, it's not. We need to go up here. I'm blind. 
We're almost there now. Haven't got too much further to go. I don't think there's any more enemies in the level. It's just a case of just working our way up to the top. And then we're going to need this key to get out of the level. Another sapphire key. I really would love if they did Tomb Raider 4 or Remastered. Tomb Raider 4 is probably, I know this is a bit of a hot take and a bit of a controversial opinion, but it's my favourite one of the uh, the old series of Tomb Raider games. I just love Egypt. Um, it's one place that I would have loved, would I would love to visit East still even now. Especially with the, I mean, you, you, you can't have a, a game about raiding tombs if you can't have it in Egypt, right? I know this the, this game is in Egypt, but the fourth game is entirely devoted to to Egypt. I know a lot a lot of people like the. It, I think the problem is with Tomb Raider Four. The game itself, it's. I mean, Tomb Raider Three is is hard for the sake of being hard, but I think with Tomb Raider Four. It's almost impossible to go through that game without some form of guide because the game is incredibly cryptic in the way that it tells you how to solve certain situations. I mean, there's there's parts of Tomb Raider 4 where <laughs> literally without a guide, it's almost impossible to, to figure out what to do in places. I do wish that they do will make a remaster of it though. Obviously, if this game is sell, sold well enough, I think they they will consider it. But I think if they just give it just a little bit of few quality of life adjustments, I think that it will be really good. Anyway, this is the last bit of the level. we just got to pop the key in. And then we are on to the second level of the Egyptian, Egyptian levels, which is the Obelisk of Khan. And there we go. But as you can see, challenge is starting to pick up now, isn't it? All three secrets, two medipacks used, missed a single pickup. And then we're on to the next level, Opelisk of Car Moon. This level is a bit longer than the last one. We've got four artifacts to collect, um, which we will need and then well, which we will need in the level to go and put back into an area that we've just been through in the first in, in the first level we've been through. But what I love about this level is it loops back round into the level we've just been. Right, series of blocks. You don't have to pull all of these blocks out. There is actually a spin set where you're supposed to go, but there are a few good items in here, so it's always worth pulling out. Behind these two blocks here, there is a panther, so get out the shotgun. We've got quite a generous amount of ammo, so we'll start going through, we'll start going through the shotgun now. Okay, two shots will put it down. Not three. That's good to know. I probably should be using the shotgun on them from the start, but rather than the magnums. So a small medic pack in here. There is another pamphlet behind this next block here. Massive shortcut in this level that you can use to actually bypass quite a large chunk of it. But because we're going through all the secrets, it's probably not advised. Well, it's it's partly involved in getting the shortcuts, partly used in getting the third secret. But we need to get the other two secrets first. 
before we can think about getting the third one. But if you actually do go for the third secret, you can actually do a shortcut for a massive chunk of the level, which I'll show you a bit later. I don't think we need to come down here. There is a panther down here. I think I'll probably leave it. Ah, screw it. Come on, let's go. Don't be a pussy, Tom. Let's go down there and fight it. Famous last words. I think we need to come down here anyway, because there's a lever here. Or maybe that was just the way to get at. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got a small medipack. Well, at least we can say it was worth it then. Can I jump up there? Yes. I think that's the way we need to go. I'm expecting to die quite a few times on this strand of levels. I always do on in Egypt. I really, I, <laughs> I think these are my bogey levels. I always die a lot on these levels. Even the last strand of levels, I don't tend to die as quite as much on. Because when I was a kid, I used to do the last three levels, which are the Atlantis levels. I used to do them so, so often that I kind of memorise a lot of most of it. The Egyptian levels are the, probably the area which I probably remember the least, even though they are still great levels. But the way we actually need to go is down here. Now, I think there are a couple of crocodiles in this water here. There is actually a ledge that we can use to take care of them safely. But there is a key down here, along with a few other items, but it, the key is actually quite well hidden. When I first played this level, I remember swimming around a lot in this underwater area, and I still couldn't find it. But there is a key down there. Let's just wait for the crocodile to show up. If he shows up. Yeah, there he is. I think there's just the one. Famous last words. Let's go down. Now the key is down here. But that's only because I knew where it was. There are a couple of other items down here too. Which we can scrounge. Magnum clips. And I recall I think there's a medipack as well. Let's see how good my memory is. Okay, it's not... Well, yes, it is a medipack. But the L. Well remembered, Tom. After a, after a few years, eh, I can still remember that it was a medipack. Right, so we're finishing this room now. What we need to do, the key slot, is actually back in the room that we were first in. And then, clumsily, we need to go this way. Okay, where's the way out? It's, over, it's in one of these walls here. I think here's the way. Lovely. Yes, I think it's over. Yes, it's over here. Two doors have opened here. We do need to go up to that top door, but we can come in here and collect some items first. This serves as a way for you to get back in case you fall down, because the opalisk is actually here. This is the opalisk. And up this opalisk, there are four artifacts that we need to s slowly make our way around and collect, which we need to put into a series of slots back in the first level that we were in. Tomb Raider 4 expanded upon this, about going into a level to pick up certain items in order to run back to another level and put them in. 
to be honest, I, I think they could have implemented it a bit better. I think the way that they do it in this game is, is probably better. Just because what will happen is you can actually run backwards and forwards between levels and it's quite easy for you to forget where you were, whether you needed to go and get an artifact in one level to come back and actually put it into the keyhole of another. So you got a bit, it can get a bit confusing. But in this game, because it's a separate level, it's impossible to get confused about what we need to do. So there is a mommy up here again, so probably the shotgun I would say is probably our best friend. But as you can see, they do blow up. Is there an item around the back of there? No. Just my eyes playing tricks on me. So, pull this lever here. And that will drop the ramp to the first artifact. There are four to collect, as I said. And we're going to need all four of them to beat the level. And then once all four are collected, that's where we need to go. And that will take us back to where we were initially. Back in the city of Carmu. And that is the Eye of Horus. Right, I think we need to go down here saying that. Yes, we do. To get the second artifact, and to make our way to the Oculus, we need to come this way. I'm going to save. Just because there are some nasty panthers down here. And they're very hungry. Plenty of magnum ammo. Probably climb up that block up there or there. Yeah, over here. Just like with the, uh, the lines, they can't get to you if you're on a raised block. I probably should have remembered that in the. But I, uh, <laughs> when you're in the, when you're under pressure like that, it's uh, it's difficult to it's difficult to remember sometimes. Right. We do need to make our way up this room. Platforming section here. Treat these platforms with respect because this room will get quite high. And if you screw up at a high if you screw up when you're at a high level, Lara will not survive the fall. There's quite a few ways you can go. You can either go along there or go along here. In fact, I think that's the way you're supposed to go, but I think there's an item over there. There is. So I might go back this way. Yeah, we'll come back over here. I'm expecting my first legitimate death to be soon. I did die before just to showcase obviously the, the hand of Midas death because it, it's got to be done hasn't it I mean it's like the most famous Tomb Raider death scene isn't it Lara turning into gold <laughs> almost at the top I'm going to save here and you'll see why very sure there are two secrets here I was at oh. 
Pardon me, I can hear footsteps. Yep. See how deadly those things are. Anyway, tell a lie, sorry chat. It's not the third secret that you need to get, it's actually secrets one and two here. Secrets one and two are actually here. Pull the sleeve first. I think we can still grab the second item while still getting the secret, but the first secret Make your way around these pillars. Make sure you hold the warp button, because if you hold the warp button, it's impossible for you to fall off here. Right, so you can probably see that there's an item on that pillar over there. So let's save here again, now that we survived that encounter just for that moment. Do a running jump over to that pillar over there. and that a small medipack and some Uzi clips. Now you're probably thinking that the way to get down would just be to jump into the water down there. But if you look over there behind that monument where that disc monument is, there's actually another item. But we have to be we have to time our jump just right. Do a running jump and hopefully we'll land on the ledge. Great secret, huh? Once again, that was a secret I never ever found until relatively recently. Right, so, lever over there. I'm going to see if we can pick up the second artifact first, just because it's... I think it, if I pick up the second artifact, it'll be easier for me to find out where to go next. Because where I am now is actually where we're supposed to pick, pick up the third one. Um, yeah, I think... No, we go over here. We do go over here. Oh! That was silly, wasn't it? Right, I really need to focus. <laughs> that was really silly. Right, so we'll have to go all the way back up to the top again. I got a bit blinkered then. I was like, oh, there's a second artifact, there's a second artifact. And I forgot to see that there was a drop there. <laughs> Always the way. But at least we got the two secrets. I always fail, most of the time I always fail that second jump off that pillar. Quite a tricky jump to make. But it reminds me of the two McQuallop pick, you know, a secret within a secret. I tell you, um, talking about Tomb Raider 4, how long it was as well for a, for a PlayStation 1 game. I mean, I mean, it was something like it was more than 50 levels long. I mean, that's that's crazy. That is how long it was. Yeah, but it took me months to complete. I mean, even Tomb Raider. I mean, Tomb Raider 3 was is very very difficult. Um, I think it's most people know that who have played it. But it didn't take me months to complete. Tomb Raider 4, good God, because of how cryptic it was. God, it took forever. You know, I mean, that game... If there was any... If there was ever a guide was needed for any game, it would be Tomb Raider 4. Maybe that's why they made it as cryptic as possible. Just because then people would have to buy the guide. You can read into that what what you will, but right. 
so we're almost back where we started. We might as well go the normal way back now, just so we know we're going to go and pick up the second artifact. So we'll go the traditional way, the normal way. Hmm, do we go down there or do we go down here? Whoa! <laughs> you know what I said? First rule of Tomb Raider? <laughs> Don't get impatient. <laughs> well, maybe it's just as well because we need to go back and get the secret again, that's fine. I was hoping to press the walk button there, but instead I was pressing the look button, so um, that's why Lara didn't stop. That's why you hold the walk button down and be careful. But no matter, we'll go over here again and get both secrets. Forgetting my own advice. Right, I'm not going to pull that lever just yet. I'll grab that medipack. Right, this is what I should have done before. Walk to the ledge, jump. And then let's pick up the second artifact. Which is the anth. So that's two down, two to go. God, what a really silly death that was, but... <laughs> Serves me right for being uh, impatient, right? Right, so where we need to go next is through here. Now this room will change depending on the lever that we pull over there. But I think we don't need to pull it just yet. I think we just need to go into the room. Without pulling any levers. I think we need to go down here, but if I recall, there is an enemy down here. Let's go up first. <coughs> See what's up here. Mm, a shimmyable ledge. <coughs> I'm not sure whether we're supposed to do this first or. But we'll, we'll go over here, that's fine. Something tells me I'm not supposed to go this way yet. That we needed to pull the lever, but... But let's just carry on anyway and see what we can find. go. Maybe we do need to come this way after all. Oh. Pardon me. But from here we might as well just take pot shots because we're safe as long as we can. Bit of cheese, but you know what? I don't want to mess around with those things at close quarters. Right, so we've got a few levers to pull up here. What does this one do? So that lowers that platform. So there's three of them to collect now. Carefully grab this medipack up here because it's a long way down, as we demonstrated earlier. And I think that takes us back to where we were before. Yeah, so this took this is take this takes us back to where we were before before I stupidly died. 
and then that takes us back into the room that we were in. So I think what we need to do now is go down here and pull this lever that we were umming and ahhing about pulling earlier. Let's just grab the third artifact first. So that's three down, one to go. The Seal of Anubis. Well, we're getting through this a bit quicker than I remember. I seem to recall the level being a bit longer than this, but... Right, so... This is the final room. Now, you do not want to fall to the bottom of this room, because if you do, not one, but two mummies will attack you. And if you think one's bad enough to deal with, two of them are an absolute nightmare. So do not fall to the bottom. Your punishment is to be is to face off against two of them. But you don't need to do that. If you're careful, you can get through this without falling to the bottom. But secret number three is actually up here. Not that it's very well hidden, but there is a secret up here. And then that is all the secrets of this level. <laughs> that secret really isn't impressive compared to the, the other two, huh? The other two are really well hidden, aren't they? Well, the second one particularly. And there is another item over there. So there's a few items out of it that was worth it. A medipack, some shotgun shells, and some... I think it was some magnum clips. But in the next level, we'll actually pick up the Uzis. There's only one secret in the next level, but it's a very, 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 very good one. Anyone who's played the original Tomb Raider 1 knows what I'm talking about. There's only one secret, but it's a great one. Right, so let's go back down to the way we came. And the way we need to go is across here. As I said, be very careful. Do not fall down to the bottom. So just, you want to avoid that at all costs. Make sure you use the look button just to see what platform we need to drop down to next. As you can see, we've got another shimmy ball platform to go across. There's only three levels in the Egypt section, but they're very challenging. So even though there's less levels, there's still a bit of a slog to get through. The enemies and the, the enemies are already putting up more of a fight. Right, where do we go now? Well, another shimmy ball ledge, I think. I think we get out of here. Yes, but don't drop down to the bottom. It's not necessary at all. Once again, I'm only speaking from experience. Right, so, I think we're almost there. Standing jump or running jump? I think it's a running jump. Yep. Right, so, hopefully this will raise the last platform. Or drop the last platform. Voila. Right, and now we just got to get to it. Hmm. Do we have to go back the way we came? Can we go back the way we came? I'm going to see if it's possible. 
just because I've noticed in that corner there is a block that we can jump onto if you look really closely to the right just beyond that one block there is another block but I want to avoid going down to the bottom at all costs for the reason I said earlier I think we need to come back the way we came definitely the longer way but it's the safer way also forgot to mention with the um, the remasters not only can you switch to the normal graphics at the touch of a button there's also a photo mode as well and you can have Lara like in all diff all the outfits from in the classic trilogy with any weapon of the choosing and you can have her in a variety of different poses while you take pictures great as a content creator because it means you can make some really good backdrops for your videos um, and if you have a look at the uh, the Facebook groups and the Discord for, for Lara, there's some really funny shots of her. You can have her in some really funny poses and shots. So it's a nice little community feature. And it's quite a nice idea. It's, um, talk about thinking outside the box. Well, thinking outside the box. As I mentioned as well, there's also quite a bit of replayability with a new game plus mode as well so I really like what they've done with these remasters I think they've done a great job of Spy another great studio for remasters is Night Dive um, they remade Turok um, they've remade quite a few games I think they've done Perfect Dark as well and I think they were involved in Goldeneye as well but you should have a look at them if you want and they also did Doom 64 as well so if you ever want to play any of these, if you're a bit of a first person shooters fan, you want to play some really good classic titles, go and check them out. Night Dive Studios. So now we've got all four items and all the secrets. So and this that's the scarab. So now we're done. Let's be careful in how we jump down to the bottom of here. Actually, I want to see if Lara can do any somersaults. Because I did say earlier we could... If Lara jumps from a great enough height, she can actually do somersaults. Is there a way for me to get any higher? I want to see if I can actually do it. Sorry, chat. I'm doing this merely for the interests of science. If we can get back up there, of course. <coughs> I think we need to pull the sleeve. We'll probably get an achievement for doing this. <coughs> because in Tomb Raider 2, if you actually jump from such a great enough height and do, I think it's two somersaults, you will get an achievement. But I just want to see if it actually can be done. that actually do anything? I don't think it did. That's where the first, you know what chap, my apologies, let's just carry on. I'm sure there's a way to get back up there quickly, but I'm not going to bother. Let's see if we can even do one somersault from this height. No, so I pre rapidly pressed the circle button there and um, she didn't do any somersaults. In Tomb Raider 2, I know that you can do that, but I don't know if that feature is just in that game alone. I know I mentioned it earlier in one of my previous um, videos. Right, I'm going to go back and get some air here. 
just because I know there's quite a few items down here and I know I've almost drowned down here before. So I'm just going to be quite respectful here. Because the last thing you want is to, for you to be desperate of air when we're looking around here for items. Because by the time you realise you need to get out of the water, it's too late. You will drown. Is there any more? Yeah, shotgun shells. And the medipack. So now we need to make our way back to... You'll probably recognise where we're about to go. You will see it in the city of Carmoon. Yeah, we need to get out of this water. Thank God. He doesn't sound very happy. Oh, oh God, there's quite a few items. We almost went past them. Sorry to wake you from your thousand years of slumber, mommy, but... Time to die. Oh, the water came in handy there. It couldn't get to us from the other side. Right, so... And then, as you can see, oh, we're not out of the woods yet. I was about to say, as you can see, we are back to where we started. It's still worth going back into this room just to have a bit of a search because even though we were here before, I think there are some more items in this room. Particularly in this water down here, I think. If memory serves. Are oh, okay, maybe not. Memory playing tricks on me. Right, but all of our items we need to put into here. And then it'll open. The Sanctuary of the Skion, which is that series of doors over there, and where our prize will be waiting, which will be the third piece of the Skion. So let's go and put all these pieces in. I think what I'm thinking of is unfinished business because we will be coming back here for a third time and um, I think that's probably what I was getting confused with yeah because we will be coming back here for a third time in the DLC which is called unfinished business there's more of Egypt left to explore um, there's more of Egypt to explore Right, so all of the pieces are in, and now we can safely exit the level. And on we go. So, all the secrets. God, I missed quite a few pickups in that level, didn't I? But <laughs> I thought I got quite a few of them. And we use the single medipack, which is, I'm quite pleased with, given just how dangerous the enemies are now in this stage of the game. So, the final level of the Egypt section of the main game is the Sanctuary of the Skion. First thing you want to do is 
get out the magnums immediately because we're about to be ambushed by two mummies. I think one of them has projectiles. It's the first time that you'll fight mummies with projectiles. Here they come. Okay, they weren't too dangerous at all. But as you can see, they look, um, those are actually the Atlantean variants of mummy. And they come in three different variants. You've got winged ones, then you've got the traditional melee ones, which rush you down and they go bananas, and then you've got ones that fire projectiles at you. And all three of them are in this level, and they'll be introduced at various parts. But let's come up here anyway, up these steps. We will be getting the Uzis in this level as well. They're the only secrets of the um, of the level, but it's a but it's a great one, as I mentioned earlier. Is that a medi pack up there? Right, so actually what we're on is a giant sphinx at the moment. Um, what the first area we need to go to is here on the right. That door well, is not open yet, but where we need to go is over where those pillars are over there. But be careful. <laughs> This is the projectile variant of the mummy. Just like with the, well, the tactic on the sensuals don't work on these guys because they're more mobile than the sensuals. The sensuals fire from the fixed position so that it's quite easy to, to, to avoid their projectiles, but those mummies will still move around a lot as they shoot at you, so... <coughs> Try and be a bit cleverer with how you dodge them. Right, for the first area, we need to come up here and jump along these raised platforms here. Less fog and uh, less black, but looks really good, doesn't it? Right, we're almost there, but we do have a spike trap to contend with here. Just remember the time to run through. Get quite close to it and just run through. Gonna walk along this ledge. You'll probably see a medi pack to your right. I'm gonna come and collect the medi pack first because I know as soon as we pull that lever, a flying mutant is gonna spawn. Now I'm just looking here just to see if we can do this with a standing jump or a running jump because if, if I do this with a running jump, I might overshoot the platform and then fall to my death. So this. This jump really is a judgement call, but because it's quite low, I think I can do it in a standing jump. Yes. I think if we'd have done a running jump then, I think we would have definitely gone to our death. I think we need to do a running jump back though. Yes. Now, as soon as we pull this lever, that one of those doors will open, but we'll also get ambushed as well. didn't see which door that was but as you can probably see or will I 
as I recalled. I'm pretty sure a flying mutant used to spawn there. Anyway, okay, fine. We'll move on. Famous last words. As probably as soon as I take my attention away, it'll come. Okay, we'll carry on then. think that's opened the door down here or it could have opened the one I didn't show you where the other one was um, yeah we need to jump down but there are two doors that we need to open just to get two artifacts that we need in order to open the door to the Sphinx and I jumped too far but thankfully we didn't take much damage there Right, so, I think we need to climb up here, if I can just find the block that we need to uh, to start on, I think it might be this one, nope, definitely not, where's the block that we need to start on, is it over here, over here I think, yes, so, we need to make our way up this um, series of platforms up here and you'll see why in a bit there's another lever up here that we need to pull that will open another door into an area that we need to get to to collect one of these artifacts the way to the secret is also up this ridge we need to slowly make our way across Just keep going along this bit. And then up here. Make sure to have a good look along here as well because there are some flying mummies that will come at some point, so just keep an eye out. Most of the time you'll hear them before you see them because their wings are quite loud. I think a running jump for here. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you see that shadow along the wall over there? I think one of the mummies that we were talking about earlier has got stuck in that wall. So I was right after all, one would have spawned. That's going to be interesting in a bit. Let's we'll see if we get closer. What it will actually do, whether it will stay there in the wall or whether it will actually attack us. I think you're running standing jump here for this one. In the standing jump, I think. Just going to say, because we're quite high up and we don't want to fall and lose our progress. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this mommy over here. If you can see over there, if you look, if you see where the, that wing is fluttering up and down on the wall, I think it's stuck in the wall. That would explain why it didn't attack us earlier. Right, but what we, what we were up here to get is this lever here. Right, now I'm pretty sure a mummy will attack you here. See him over there? He's coming for us. <laughs> yep. And that's what happens if you don't deal with him quickly. We've actually missed an item. I didn't realise there was an item down there. So uh, <laughs> we gained something from that death anyway. Because I didn't realise there was an item down there. We'll go back and get that in a bit. Let's just pull this lever again. And hopefully we can deal with him a bit faster this time. 
we'll come up to here actually. Oh, now both of them are in. Oh, great. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Now he's... I think one of them's finally decided to get out of the war. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Did you just see him, Jack? Because I certainly did. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is! <laughs> it's all gone... It's all gone bloody mad. At least it makes the game a bit more interesting, because I've done this quite a few times. Right, hopefully we'll do it this time. Shooting like Bloody hell. Third time lucky. Goodness, I'm being a Wally today. Well, while we're here, chat, we might as well pick up that item. I meant to do that, really, honest. <laughs> honest. To be fair, that's not the first time I've seen that happen with some of the flying mutants um, in the DLC when we're in the Atlantean levels. Um, a couple of them did, did get stuck in the wall. And then when you reloaded your game, that's when they're, they're suddenly not behind the wall anymore when you save and uh, suddenly you have to deal with them when they're very, very close to you. So. <laughs> where we were. Standing jump here or? No, running jump. <laughs> right, we're back to where we were. So let's save again. Now, where we need to go is over there where those shotgun shells are but as you take a jump backwards just be careful that you don't do what I did and you actually fall off the platform you want to take a hop back so you can give yourself a run up but then not too far enough that you fall off the platform and remember we can actually turn while we're in the air so make sure you utilize that you can turn left or right when we're in mid-air right and we're almost where <laughs> The only secret of the level is, if you've got a good pair of eyes, can you see that item in the air? Well, what that is, is actually an invisible platform where the Uzis are. But getting there is actually not easy, and getting back is not easy either. So I highly, highly recommend you save for this bit. Even if we actually line our jump up correctly, you can still miss this platform because we can't see it. So what I would suggest that you do is, where this platform is, where it's slightly raised, you want to go to that, the edge of that platform, just because it gives us a little bit more height. Because we've got that slight bit more height, it means that we should be able to land this jump every time. But, but be careful, just to make sure you line yourself up correctly, because if you press back, you might slip off this platform. So make sure you position Lara just right. Save again.
and get into the habit of doing so. Right, so, hopefully this will work out. <laughs> Missed it. That's fine. I was expecting that the first time. So, let's position ourselves just a bit better. Let's try again. There we go. Good secret, huh? Great secret. And now we have the easies. I suggest you don't waste any time. Get them out immediately because we're about to be ambushed by two flying enemies. And because we're in such an exposed position over here, you want to take them out fast. So just gun them down really quickly. But as you can see, the Uzis will make very quick work of them. It's got the high, ham highest damage per second of any weapon. In the world. So take advantage of the extra firepower. Right. We need to get back the way we came. Remember to hold the walk button down. Hold the walk button down even though we're on an invisible platform. Lara cannot fall off. So let's save again. This time we want to aim for where the platform is lowest over there. Because if we aim for where it's too high, we will, won't be able to grab the ledge. You want to aim for where the platform is lowest. So we want to go all the way to the left. Get yourself a run up and jump. Hopefully we'll get it. Yep. Right. To do this next bit, have we opened the door to over there? I think we have actually, because we did that lever earlier. If you jump along this ledge here, but you want to jump facing this direction. Slide down the ledge, grab it, slide down. And then where we do need to go is along this ridge over here. And you'll see where we're going to go in a sec. But great secret, huh? An invisible platform. Right, the store is open. There is a Senshaw in this room. Now, remember in the previous video we talked about what the tactic with the Senshaw is? Get out the Magnums. You can do this with pistols. Bit riskier. Less margin of error, but it is possible. You want to jump left to right. Okay, the Senshaw's not here just yet. We need to move this block to get up there first. I think we push it this way. <laughs> One of two items that we need to get through the, the sanctuary is in this room. The other one is on the opposite side of the Sphinx. I, mean, I think we've opened that door now as well, if memory serves. Come up here. And the sensual should be in here. Is. We might be able to pick him off from here. Yeah, from here we can take a good few good pot shots at him. Now let's go in. Let's get him. So there's our first item, and then a medipack. Right, so that's one that we've got. I 
and what we can do to get to it. Uh, yeah, there's a mummy down here. Is it a flyer? No. Ah, that's the projectile variant. Did get a couple of shots on us then. Right, but the end the other door we need to go into is down here. So we need to turn around, slide down the slope, shimmy along this ledge. Done. More ammo. As you can see, the game's given us tons of ma magnum ammo. Okay. We do actually need to go into that water in a minute. Um, I don't actually think I need to come up here yet. But we'll slide down here anyway. Run and uh, slide down the slope, do a better job than what I just did there. But where we need to actually go first is to get this key, and we need to put the key up here. Let's hope, for, let's, I hope we can do that better this time. Maybe not. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. So where we need to put our key is in here. But you will get ambushed the moment the door opens, so be ready. Another sensual. Um, parallel with left and right so I'm still happy with that we weren't quite um, we weren't quite left or right we were more like diagonal there but if you're like a, s a square left and right you shouldn't hit you right now we need to get out of here And now we've got the two artifacts that we need. And both of them, where we need, where you need to put them, are on the Sphinx itself. And I'm going the wrong way. Or am I? I think this is the way, actually. But no, we are going the right way. I need to start being a bit more careful. Took a bit of unnecessary fall damage there. This is what happens when you rush. As I've said time and time again, do not rush. So I think we need to to get back up to the Sphinx, we need to actually is that a, is that an item down there? Is that just me? There is an item there. But to get that door open, we need to climb back up this ridge and then make our way back up to the back to the top of the Sphinx again. 
gets a bit repetitive after a while, but coming up here, but. Thankfully, we've only got to do this one last time. Providing we don't fall, of course. Very unforgiving if we fall. Because we'll be all the way back to the stars again. After this level, we've only got three levels to go. <laughs> Time to save. You probably can see it from here, but if you look really, really closely up to the top of that sphinx, you can probably see where we need to put the item. So to get over there, we need to come over here again. Get a run up, jump, and try to angle the jump so you land on that platform. Just remember, you can turn while you're in the air. It's actually a wet. Actually, chat, I think there's a way up that Sphinx after all. Can you see it in the right-hand arm? I don't think we need to climb up here at all. Oh, well, we'll carry on now. You know, I never knew that. If you look down there where the, the groove is in that in the Sphinx's arm on the right-hand side, there is a way to get up there after all. You can actually climb up onto the back of the Sphinx. It looks that way anyway. I've, I've never actually tried to get up there that way. But hey ho, we'll carry on this way now. We're already halfway. Up. We'll carry on. Even after all this time, I'm still I still learn things about this game. Even though it's only been out for almost 25 years. Well, yeah, 25 years. No, longer than that actually. This game came out in '96, so was it '95? No, it was '96. It came out so. So, 27 years. God, 27 years, that's crazy. Just to show how old I am, chat. <laughs> I remember when this game came out. And the phenomenon that kind of came with it. I mean, the whole world, I mean, at the time, the whole world was Spice Girls mad. It was very much girl power was the word of the day. And then this comes along. This game comes along, you know, with a with a female protagonist, an action hero, you know, that's, I mean, no wonder, it was, it was just the right time for her, really, I mean, the Spice Girls were popular because it was for the very same reason, so Lara coming along at this time, it, I mean, it, it couldn't have gone any better for them, really, at Core Design and Edos, and even after all these years later, she's still a household name. But anyway, we finally at our destination. Probably took the long winded way, but never mind. First tank goes in there, and then the second tank. We have to be careful here, we don't fall off the sphinx. The sphinx. Just a, there we go. And then we'll just put the second one in here. Voila! Almost there. Right now, I'm gonna go where that's uh, taking more unnecessary forward damage. I'm gonna go where that arm is and see if we can't get down that way. Let's just actually see, actually, just if I actually could have gone this way. <coughs> So how would I have climbed up here? Could I have vaulted up here? 
I guess I couldn't chat, or maybe I could. Climb off there. No. So that would have been useful in only getting down here. I could climb up onto here. But I can't climb up there, I don't think. Yeah, so we didn't we didn't take the long way after all. That was only for coming down this way. Anyway, let's save. I'm sure there'll be dangers down here for us. I remember this room. Right, this is a giant water pit. Giant water pit. I mean, what we need to do is swim all the way down. It's a long way down. I think where we need to go first is on the right, and there's a lever that we need to pull. I think. Yes. So, pull this lever, and now we're going to get pulled along on the current through this door. Climb out. Not too much further to go now. And then we need to make our way up these pillars. Series. I think there's an enemy in here, so we'll get the Uzis out, just because they will shred everything. Might not get away with not using a medipack here, but yes, hello. But as you can see, the Uzis, they just make quick work of those enemies. Right, so... Where we need to get to is over to that monument over there. Lower yourself down off this ledge. Drop. And to walk up to the edge, even though there's water in this pit, we can still die here. Because as, as you can see, it's a long way down. So we need to do a running jump to this next block over here. Uh, is it this way we need to go? Uh, I don't think it is actually. I think it's down here we need to go. Maybe it is this way. Sorry, just mindful that if I slide off the wrong slope, I'll be back into the water again. So let's just see what's at the edge of this. Yeah, it's a bit of a drop. I think we're going to take a little bit of fall damage here, but yeah, but that's fine. At least this way I know that we'll go where we need to go. Yes, yeah, so this is where we need to go. And then that will open the door on the opposite side. So we need to swim down to the opposite, the opposite statue now. In fact, while we're here, shall we have a look at the the old graphics compared to the new ones? So this is what the room used to look like. And then this is what it looks like now. Pretty cool, huh? How much health we got? Well, we've got 39 small medipacks, so I, I don't think it really matters if uh, to conserve them at this point of the game. And then we've got 36 large medipacks as well. But 
interestingly enough, I will say this, in the DLC, your items do not carry over. So the only thing you start off with is your pistols. So you have to get the shotgun, the magnums, the Uzis, and all your medipacks again. So don't feel that you have to conserve any before you beat the game, the, the main game anyway. Use all of your items up, because when you go to unfinished business, you'll have to gather everything what you've got again. You have to rebuild your arsenal, effectively. I might as well use a medipack here. <sighs> Makes sense, we've got 38 of the damn things, you know. It's <laughs> Right, so this is where we need to go. And now we need to go up a very, very long snaking path. And this will take us back to the very, very start of the level. Might save some Uzi ammo actually, and I'll use the magnums. Uzi ammo is incredibly plentiful in the last three stages of the game. You'll have thousands of ammo if you take care to actually preserve it. So while I've got quite a ton of ammo, magnum ammo, I'm going to go through all of this now. And we keep finding more magnum ammo, so I might as well use them, huh? This is why it's worth using the pistols when you're able to, well, you're, when you're in your position to do so, just because we've got tons of ammo and we're going to need it for this next bit. Because as soon as we open, pull the, as soon as we collect this item, we're about to be ambushed by three, I said three, mummies. So we're definitely going to save here. In fact, tell a lie, it's three, it's two mummies and one sensual. So yeah, quite the welcome party. Right. Let's see how I do. Yep, I'm getting mauled. Prioritise the two mummies first and leave the sensual till last. But bloody hell, yeah, I mean, they... that's the real, uh, that's the real boss fight of this level. There is another fight coming up, but that's the real boss fight of this level. And then that item that we've just picked up needs to go in here. And then the enemy is very kindly giving us a medipack here. Just because it knew that last fight would be difficult, I think. Might use a small one here. And in this room, where the ski on is, we'll see an old friendly face that we've got a score to settle with. I still got a pain in my brain from you. My ideas now I like to shoot you the hell. But as you can see with the Magnums, because we've got an expanded arsenal when we first fight Larson, I mean, we just absolutely wreck him. He didn't last very long. But that, chat, is the end of Egypt. And here is our prize, the final piece of the ski on. We've got all three. And then as soon as we grab it, we get treated to another cutscene. So only one secret in that level, quite a few medipacks to go through with, that we went through, but you can see what a gauntlet of a level that was, eh? And we only missed four pickups in that level, but that is all of Egypt done. Um, there is a cutscene that follows this, but I hope you've all enjoyed this part of the playthrough. And then we've only got one more part left, which is the Atlantis levels. And once again, it's another three-parter, 
you've got three levels to go through but I'm going to hit continue and you can watch this cutscene but I'm going to bid you all farewell till next time I hope you've all enjoyed watching and thank you for being here with me I'll see you all very soon take care You just pulled the tough end of a wishbone. Howdy. Afternoon. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. <clears throat> well? Kill her! Hey! You morons! Let's go. Steady. Here she goes. We ready yet? <laughs> 